here we are again guys back to uh, Universal so glad that I finally get to go in day. this time just got a day ticket to Park Hopper hey, so Look at me, Caleb. let's uh, see what rides we can get on we can't go on anything at least we can come and see Avengers Thank you. So we just got done riding Rip Ride Rocket. It's always good to start off the day with uh, a nice fast paced ride. Kayla's never been on it, so we had to try and get her on, which was a bit of a challenge, but uh, she seems to enjoy it. Um, I think we're gonna go and ride Fallon now, because Annie hasn't ridden that yet either. So we're gonna go on this. And I'm not too, I'm not too fussed about this one. I don't mind it, I think it's okay, but there are better rides, but it's hot. It'll be nice to get out the sun for a little bit. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go in the store now, get the rest of the people, and then go on the ride. We're just talking about Fast and Furious because some of us have never been on it. And, uh, Rachel, do you want to just tell them what you said about it there? It's rubbish. Really bad? Yeah, it's rubbish. Not worth it. Not worth it at all? Nope. You might need to put subtitles. Subtitles? I've got no voice. Oh, for you? <laughs> for him in the right? <laughs> You've never been on it either, have you? You look like Krang from the Turtles. <laughs> 
see the phone though and the glasses. Can you imagine with her with those glasses with my sleep mask? <laughs> oh my goodness, you look like a villain. <laughs> So we're probably gonna go on it later, but um, from what everyone said, <laughs> from what everyone said, it's not supposed to be very good. So, but Fallon's starting now, so we better go. Jimmy Fallon, that was pretty good. It was a little bit better this time just purely because we were in the front row. Um, I don't know why, but you kind of enjoy it a lot more when you can, you know, you can't really see the edges of the screens and stuff. Um, then we came off and went on to the Mummy, another ride that Annie hasn't ridden before. And now, we're gonna head over to Fast and the Furious because again, like I said before, this is a ride that Nathan, us three haven't ridden. Um, and the rest of the family have and said that it's not exactly a show stealer. So I'm gonna see what it's like um, and give my honest opinion when we get off it and see for ourselves what it's like. But yeah, we're heading there now. So Jordan, 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 what did you think of that? I gave it a five or a six out of ten. And I'll tell you for why. Let's go over here. Sorry. Right. So the theming of it is absolutely incredible. You've got to say that. I thought as soon as I saw it pull up. Like the right, the right vehicle pull up. I knew that it was going to be similar to that part in Kong. Um, you're right when you said that it was too short. It, it's very short. Very, very short. But on top of that, there's some very, very weird moments in it. And I was telling Kayla that when I was on it, like when we got off. The bit where um, Dom jumps from the car. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert. And it's hanging on the helicopter. It's probably some of, and, and I'm gonna attach this to how Shaw looks on the back of the car. It's some of the worst CGI I've ever seen. Like really bad CGI. Um, I like this, like you know the effects and stuff. I liked how when you crashed and everything like that, the smoke and the water and everything came through. The water I didn't really understand because you weren't really hitting any kind of water. The smoke I could, but. I didn't hate it. I wouldn't write it again. But I'm, I'm you know I'm glad I kinda went on. The queue, the line is absolutely amazing. Like we were looking at the, the things that they kind of put in for Paul Walker and stuff like that and the little jokes towards the rock and Vin Diesel and, and some of the other characters are are very funny. And the cars are just insane. I just don't see that being a sustainable ride for for a long, long, I just don't, I don't see it being here for a long time. I think it's it's one of those things that people are going to ride once and then they're going to be done with it. See, so yeah, and that's the way I felt about Fallon as well. Yeah, Fallon's up there with that, but they're like... Race see, through New York with Jimmy Fallon, it just went, that, it's such a bizarre ride. It is, and it's not, it's not a ride that you'd expect to be a, a sustainable item in a park. But what I'll say is, riding that in the front row gave it a different perspective, but I now have done the front row, I wouldn't ride it again now that I've ridden it in the front row. And I won't ride that again now that I've ridden it, period. Um, 
I understand how easy it is to kind of make those rides because you're literally just on a track that's not moving and it's just a car moving and stuff and then the, you know the screen's going past you. It's probably cheaper to do that than it is to build a roller coaster on a full track. Took out Earthquake for that, that's what I can do. That's, that's, oh, what's, that's oh. what's disappointing. But again, Earthquake was up there with the same type of thing. It's the same effect and it's not, you're, you're not, it's kind of hard to put into it because I suppose you get the same experience on every ride that you go on. Like you go on Great Ride Rocket, it's the same ride. You're just picking a different track every time, but that's exciting and that's thrilling and and that isn't that that's a it's a good ride to, to go on if you you know if you've got nothing else to do, you wait for the things to go on. I don't see that being anything that I would rush back to the park for. And that's a shame. But yeah. For honest honest opinion, I've ridden it. I, you know I took everyone else's things out of my head and, and rid it for myself and came up with the same result <laughs> it is it's it's and it's such a shame because they spent so much time and, and it, the theming of the, of the building and everything like that is sublime but it's too short and there's just there's not enough right like that that to me you could have just walked through the line and, and literally come off it you didn't 30 need, seconds you at didn't the end. Need the ride. It needed to be more. And I was getting a bit excited when I could see the, the things, like the, the scenes that were actually built, the, 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 the physical sets. Because it, it looked, reminded us of like Spider Man and stuff. If that was more like Spider Man or Transformers, that would be a good ride. That I'd go on more. There's no reason that can't be that you're in one of their cars. Yeah. On a track like Spider And I know they didn't, do, they didn't want to build that because they've got Transformers here, but. So what if there's two? That would have been better suited for a ride like that than getting in a bus and just driving in a straight line. So, yeah. But hey, it's done. It's done. And that's the run over. On to the next ride. Yeah. Now then, this is Decepticon Defensive Tactical Training. I am Weapons Combat Specialist Ironhide. And our objective today is to familiarize you with your Decepticon nemesis. Defeat them on our world, and we will defeat them here. All he wants is that all spark, so he can turn every useful and gadget on Earth into a legal Decepticon house. So it's official, I am the king of Men in Black. Two rides, over 100,000 in both. What are you saying, loser? Press the red button. No, the red button was extra. So 269, no, 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 no. 269,000 in the first game, 138,000 in the second. What did you get? 279,000. It was 58,000, okay? And it might have been less than that, I'm probably being generous. 58,000 it was. Yeah, okay. Well, still less than 138, isn't it? So, that's pretty much it for Universal. We're gonna go into um, Harry Potter land now. 
I'm gonna go on a diagonal, we're gonna do Gringotts, and then we're gonna get the Hogwarts Express over the islands. And that'll be the end of this video. And we're gonna start the next video um, across on the other side. So, a little bit more to do here, but it's been a very, very fun day. I love how this is themed. Look how cool this is. Unbelievable. Jackson what? Griffledor. Griffledor. Did he swap from Duffledor, did he? <laughs> You've just upset a lot of Harry Potter viewers. Translated, that means that the crusty burger was horrible and you'd rather eat your feet. Is that right? Oh, 